there is a new pack by Kellyanne Conway's husband. Um, I forgot his name. Is it George Conway? Or is it Bill Conway? It's it's the Conway husband. But anyways, he released two ads that are devastating for Donald Trump. And I genuinely don't understand why these ads weren't cut so long ago. Because Donald Trump is a serial sexual predator. Now, the difference with this election is that... Oh, it is George. Thank you. The difference with this election is that he was found liable for rape in court. This has been adjudicated. So you can say... He's a rapist, not alleged. He is a rapist. And on top of that, he defamed the woman he raped. So this man is a sick piece of shit, not to mention he was buddy buddy with Jeffrey Epstein, notorious child sex trafficker. He wished Jislaine Maxwell well. Uh, so the man is disgusting. And the fact that nobody talks about this to me kind of makes me feel like I'm going insane because, I mean, the dude has a bunch of supporters who created an entire conspiracy cult, QAnon, around this idea that elites are like locking children in basements and abusing them. When, I mean, the call is coming from inside the fucking house. Donald Trump, man, what the fuck? How do we not talk about this more? Even for the normies, even though that word is cringe, even for the norm normies. How do you not understand that this man is a rapist? I actually got into a dispute with my cousin and he blocked me on Facebook because I'm like, how do you vote for Donald Trump when you have daughters and this man is a fucking rapist? What message th does that send to your daughters? How can you do that? And he blocked me because clearly it's not something that's very defensible. Not to put my cousin on blast, but fuck you, cousin. Uh, but anyways, so some of Trump's accusers spoke out in these ads and these ads are beautiful. Here's the first one. 1979, I had gotten on an airplane. The stewardess said to me, would you like to come up to first class? In the window seat was a gentleman who said that his name was Donald Trump. The airplane took off and all of a sudden, Donald Trump started groping me. He was trying to kiss me and I'm trying to push him away. He was basically overpowering me. When he started putting his hand up my skirt, I got out of the seat grabbed my purse and went back to my original seat. And I certainly was shook up by the whole thing. Two years later, at this fundraiser, up comes Trump and his wife. And he looked at me and he said, I remember you, you're that from the airplane. Donald Trump views women as for his entertainment. He is a serial predator. He has said it point blank and he's done it and he will continue to do it. Anti-Psychopath Pack, Inc. is responsible for the content of this advertisement. Anti-Psychopath Pack. That's quite the name. But everything in this ad, 100% spot on. And one thing that, again, drives me crazy is uh, they showed the article. Was it 26 women? 26 women accused of sexual misconduct? There were reports about how when he was the owner of Miss Teen USA or some of these, what, whatever pageant it was, he would walk in in the changing room. What the fuck are we doing? Like this country claims to, you know, care about these kinds of things. Like there's there's all these conspiracies about the Democratic Party uh, and them abusing children. You know, people are fascinated by the Diddy story because of how despicable it is. But yet Donald Trump mm, doesn't matter. There were, you know, there were some um, people during the uh, the whole meltdown over Donald Trump getting indicted or no, I'm sorry, convicted on his 34 counts, they were like, can you believe it that Trump was convicted before any one of Epstein's associates? And it's like, excuse me? Excuse me? You're really going to say that? Trump is the first Epstein associate to be convicted. That's not to say that he's convicted because of that. But nonetheless, you know, they got Al Capone on tax fraud. So fucking <laughs> find something and lock him up. He's guilty for a multitude of reasons, right? He complains about lawfare. Yeah, the motherfucker should get lawfare waged on him because he's broken so many laws and he's a fucking rapist. Uh, but there's one more. This next one, uh, also very, very effective. My name is Natasha Stoinoff. In 2005, I went to interview Donald Trump at Mar-a-Lago. At one point, Melania went upstairs to change her clothes for the next photo shoot. And Trump said to me, I want to show you this beautiful painting, this beautiful room. He leads me to this room, pushes me against the wall and starts kissing me forcefully. I tried to push him. 
kept coming back at me. I was in shock and smothered and he had his hands here against my shoulders. I felt sick inside. I felt horrified. And thank goodness the butler charges into the room. Like many women, I blamed myself. So Trump turned to me and said, you know we're going to have an affair, don't you? And Melania was approaching. I was horrified. When the Access Hollywood tape came out, and also stories of many other women, including E. Jean Carroll, I realized I was not to blame, that he was just a predator of women. What could have happened if the butler had not come into the room? Donald Trump is an adjudicated sexual assaulter. We cannot elect this man as president. Anti-Psychopath Pack Inc. is responsible for the content of this advertisement. I mean... Depending on the states that they play this in, I think it really could be impactful. I feel like most Americans by this point, they know that Donald Trump is a serial sexual predator. The problem is that there's so much like everything this man says, every time he opens his fucking mouth, it's a scandal. And if everything is a scandal, nothing is a scandal or the other scandals get minimized. So he's benefited by being such an outrageous liar. You know, he's benefited from the fact that there's so many other things about him that are just downright despicable. You know, the electoral uh, theft that he tried to commit back in 2020, uh, the genocidal things that he said uh, about Palestinians, uh, the genocide he was supporting back in Yemen. People don't really talk about that as well. Uh, but he vetoed a resolution that would have ended U.S. complicity with Saudi Arabia. Uh, but, you know. That's a different story for a different day. But there's so much about him that I think people need to be reminded that this man is a rapist.